Good morning, friends. We uh, have well, had an early morning start, and we are currently walking down to the main road uh, because we're off to Jaipur. And uh, well, if it goes well, we might end up with a bit of a surprise later on today. But we're um, we're taking one of the new trains, so uh, it leaves about 8 a.m. in the morning. What is, how long have we done? Oh, about six hours. Six hours? Maybe. About six hours. But uh, very comfortable. We're going to take you along for the ride. Yes, much to Yasmin's uh, discord. I said, let's just go out to the main road, <laughs> stand by the route supermarket, and uh, hope a tuk tuk comes along. And guess what? It did. <laughs> <laughs> it's dropping someone off across the road. And he waved to us, so. I'm relieved. Yeah, you, you're relieved. <laughs> I usually like to plan things, but yeah. Yeah, one thing my wife has taught me is there's no need to create stress by being late for things like planes and trains. <laughs> and we've also ended up in a brand new tuk-tuk, which is actually rather pleasant. We'll find the entrance, honey. Some airlines. Yeah, actually, four leg routes. And Okay. All right. Times of India to read. Part of our morning tea, we get masala chai and a packet. Cup of hot water and a digestive. Luxury, I tell you. <laughs> Living the life, aren't we, darling? We are. <laughs> so we've had our chai and now we have been provided with breakfast. Yeah. What are they bought for us? Trying to make it out. Well, we've got tomato ketchup. Okay, you, you recognise that one. Um, we've got. Oh, oh, these are lovely potato ball things. Oh, they're lovely. Really like yeah. And. Oh, a dal. A dal. Some kind. There's some yogurt. And this one here is like a fresh cake. Yeah. A long way from the old trains that we've done in the past where you're uh, on tippy toes in the toilet. <laughs> After 16 hours. Not to get your pants or anything else wet when you squat in the toilet. So yeah, yeah. this is lovely. How is it? It's good. It's, it's good, delicious. It? Yeah. Water chap. Passing through some absolute classic Rajasthani countryside. Fields and fields and fields. Small agriculture is such a massive part of India's economy. These trains are very clean. They come through every so often with a squirty bottle of liquid cleaner. And the guy with the mop follows. Lunch has arrived. This is pretty good quality food that they're uh, serving up here. Railway lines. There's a rather pleasant train ride. There we are at Jaipur yeah. railway station. Hey, welcome to Jaipur. Thank you. Udaipur. We're noticing that uh, around the train stations they are becoming much cleaner. Did you notice it? Noticeably. It's yeah. Amazing. It's part of what's happening in India. It's a big effort to really take care of things, and uh, yeah, more and more people are stepping up to the game. Fantastic. It's just going to change everything. It's going to spread. It will in spread. In a really good way. In a really wonderful yeah. way. People will feel good about it. We just had the classic, uh, here we go, look. Another Hi, one. Hi, welcome Hello, to brother. Superman. How well, are you doing? Very well. You're the second one. Which part in the world suffering mm -hmm. without you? Uh, well, Udapur, because that's Udipur. where we live. Oh, it's a beautiful place, man. It's a beautiful man. city. You live in heaven, huh? Yeah, we are. Wow, it's a lovely place. It's my favorite city in Rajasthan. It's, that's why we're there. What's make you to come to Jaipur though? 
Our friends. Our friends, to see the friends? Yeah, to see the friends. To drive you to your friend? No, no, no need, man. Why not? Because we're not tourists. I'm not saying that. <laughs> our no, friend is our I, friend is waiting for us. That's very good. All right. Have a nice time. Yeah, you good luck, brother. Put on the YouTube app. I will. It'll Please. be on YouTube. Make me famous. Okay. Stand out. Yeah, of course. Being the gorders. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty easy. We've only had two so far come at us, and they're, they're pretty cool about it. Last guy was hustle-free Jaipur. We've got someone else about to approach us too. There we go. <laughs> we're in that in-between world where we're no longer tourists, but we still look like tourists. Right, we've made it. Our own personal pickup. Thank you, Manuji, because we we had to navigate one or two offers of friendship and rides and promises of good times in Jaipur. Uh-huh, <laughs> that's right. That's why I came. We're just uh, talking about how easy the train ride was and Manu, what did you just tell me? It's called the... It's called One Day Bharat. Wait. One Day Bharat train. The um, latest, one... latest train that got introduced. And one day means... One day means uh, salutation. Salutation. I know not everyone in India can travel on that train, but... Yeah. A little we were, expensive. We were the only gooders. Really? Yeah, no other foreigners on the train, so that was good. Good to be back in Jaipur. Such a cool city. So one of the reasons we've come to Jaipur is because, well, Manu said, I've got this crazy thing happening. The IPL cricket series is on and I want to take you. So he's it's arranged, not yet, yeah. it, not yet, but <laughs> he's currently trying to get tickets because there's no tickets available legitimately. Um, but the other reason we're coming is because we've got a house to. Yeah, so we've come to a place that we've been before. It's a textile house. They have carpets and they have block print. Mm. So it's, um, it's always worth looking. It is. And here he is, coming to look after us. <laughs> and what's special about this place is that it's this. It's beautiful and block print work that's happening here. So this is, although it is a commercial venture, they yeah. also support the local yeah. uh, tribes people and the local villages, and they have it set up so that you can, when you come here to visit, you can actually see this amazing work happening. These hand looms. And I must say, it's a woman at work here as well. Very nice outfit. Namaste. Namaste. He's Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. And Sam is the owner here. I think and we met. Yeah, yes, we have. Yeah, 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 yeah last time we fought other groups here. Yeah. 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 So how, many, yeah. how many villages do you end up supporting through your business? Yeah. Oh, we are supporting more than uh, 20 villages at the that's moment. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's a very beautiful part of it. Yeah. And uh, kind of, a, you know, the handicraft is kind of a dying art sometimes. And it, it makes you so sad. You're learning something and you're going to be called artisans. And it's a dignity. I love that. So dignity is, a, I think that is a... <coughs> is much more uh, valuable than the wealth. <laughs> if you are wealthy and you don't have dignity, it's a shit life. It's know? still poverty. So it's, <laughs> like, it's still a poverty. So, okay. yeah, it's a long time. And I'm with this property for last 30 years. They are like my nephews. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here in Samir. So you are family uh, like with my family as well. Because yeah. you are here. Uh, I was with his father for a long time. Wonderful. So, so here, is a, as you know, you know like family. when there is any shopping establishments, <laughs> There is always the connections. Yes. Indians believe in connections. It's all based it's just, on relationships. Yeah, it's not like employee owners, no. Mm. It's like an extended family. Mm. Mm. Like what we do with IPT and Good Vibrations, similarly. Fantastic. Uh, same here. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing what we might end up with okay. in our home. <laughs> These are quite beautiful. Yeah, 
uh, with motion colored patches. Because my shirt is a similar colour to our couch. I have to do this. Does it work? <laughs> How does it look? No. Does it work? Clashes too much? No? You don't want to see me lying on the carpet like this, darling? That's a best Shirt has a. Choice is getting easier or harder, darling? I'm liking this one. <laughs> just this is a formal green. Tree of Life family. Incredible rugs. I mean, look at the yeah, colour that's bouncing out of this. It's, it's amazing. Cheap. But this one here, this is something else. That's a sari silk. That's made of sari silk here. Recycled. Sari, really recycled. Recycled sari silk. That's wow. Oh, wow. Feels incredible to be on. Yeah. This, and this and here. This is the origin silk. This is original silk and honestly when you walk on it you feel like you're floating and it's it's actually light god that's an incredible thing it's like the most interesting which i guess it is really but yeah it's it just really catches you it does and it and it it pulls you in yeah <laughs> it absolutely pulls you in so let's see what yasmin's up to here she is what have you found, darling? Um, it's one of the pomegranates. Yeah. I like the green and the white one. This blue is nice. That's lovely, isn't it? So that's, are this the brass block prints we're looking at? That yeah. was, yeah. yeah. And yeah. now I'm just looking at the cut, because I really would like a cut print. <coughs> really, really ah, good try. If you find yourself in Jaipur, these shops are a lot of fun. Um, the, the staff look after you really well uh, and you can get all your clothing cut to size and uh, yeah I mean of course you know they've got to make their money they've got to make their living but it also travels a long way because it goes to the tribal people it goes to where they get the products from as well so when we were in Jalsam uh, how long ago darling uh, maybe four years ago we bought a beautiful beautiful wall hanging which has remained in New Zealand in our little lock-up storage but this is what we found today. This and is just amazing. We have fallen in love. It's going to look wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful on the wall. We're just being shown down into the factory base of where all. Oh, oh my gosh! This is your family? This is my family, but we do have a five units like this. Five units? Yeah, because they are for Eastern service. A second day we do have a different various production units. Yeah. They are everything by teams, people we trained here, then set the new new people. And look down. And once we come here, you could see come here how we work. So your your international clients who yeah. will order designs, yeah, products yeah, yeah. and you will then yeah, we, provide we, them from we here sit, directly. They come twice a year, once a year, we sit together and we plan Let's for see. next. And these are the talented boys. They're very they talented. They are masters to take your measurement and make a dress in the same day. Yeah. So we have said to them, like these all, you could go closer. Yeah. Each and every piece passed to walk. Namaste. He, and it's lovely to hear you say these are, this is the power behind yeah, your yeah. business. They all are master artisans and they are masters. See, everybody is putting buttons by hand, checking by the doing thread. So wonderful to see this. <laughs> Jaipur is an extraordinary city. Like it's, it's got everything, right? You know, the, the heritage. It's got a certain kind it's of cool. It's got a lot of um, artisans and arts mm. and craft and just, um, just old skills. And we we have been brought to the back streets, to somewhere even Manu hasn't been before. So uh, this is really seeing a part of Jaipur that, well, as tourists you don't get to. Namaste. And uh, we've come to look for these dari rugs this time. Oh, oh I like these. Wow. This is a lot of fun having to decorate a house. <laughs> oh, and the smell in here. Indian style. Yeah. The smell in here is amazing. This is cool. 
also called it the panjara oh, also called the panjara and this one also the panjara and it's a mix of wool and jute yeah it's the wool in the warp actually the wool in the warp, in the warp. yeah and in jute the in the weft oh my gosh that is beautiful oh. this is the uh, wool cotton wool oh, cotton wool one wow Actually, the 50 kilometer far, I have the factory 50 kilo in my village. In your village, Dosa. Yeah. so this Dosa. is Dosa. this is supporting how many people in your village? Yeah, uh, 40, 50 total people. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. How long have you had your business? Yeah, yeah, yeah almost 40 years. Uh, His father. Your father. My father. Yeah. Ah. This is special. These are, these are beautiful. They they have such an organic feeling to them, but they are also just such beautiful. Yeah, they've got warmth. There's that, warmth in like them. Energy yeah. In Manu has found an extraordinary place. This you this place is mm -hmm. like so out of the way. Uh, I don't know if other people know much about it. It sounds like they've actually just moved the business they here. They have just the moved city. here, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the old city. The old it's, in, city. it's in the old city, and the range of Designs, design, composition. It's beautiful. Workmanship. It's mm. beautiful. Oh, when oh, you come to India. Dari. <laughs> Come and get your daddies. We'll look after you with it. <laughs> Once again, it's happened to you, darling, it where has. you have been gifted. <laughs> this is I'm such so a blessing. This is beautiful. Yeah. So elegant. So grateful. Love it. Just love it. You are very kind. <laughs> How special. We are the first customers oh. in our awesome. friend's new shop. Amazing. So. Gosh. I know. Looking I forward to bringing away. our guests here. This will be <laughs> such a special time. Next time he says we'll go to his factory. Yes. About 50 kilometers from here. Why do we have some exciting news, Manu? We are going to an IPL match. And how hard was it to get the tickets, oh, Manu? Very difficult, but finally we succeeded. And we have got the best seats in the house, as we say. So, Manu is taking, well, in this case, me. I'm, I'm feeling slightly awkward because my beloved. <laughs> but we have the permission. <laughs> we have permission. <laughs> a week ago. Yeah, yeah, we have permission to just have a boys' night yeah. between my brother and I. Yeah. I'm going to get to go to a cricket match in India. We're watching tonight. We're watching. Uh, Rajasthan Royals versus Royal Challengers Bangalore. And who's, who are we cheering for? Rajasthan, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Here they are, these precious, precious tickets that Manu threw his own. Those elusive tickets. <laughs> because uh, there is a player called Virat Kohli. For those who don't know him, you know, he's superstar of cricket here in India. So he's playing here today from Bangalore team. So everybody wants to have a glimpse of him, you know, everybody wants to, you know, cheer him up and all. So it's going to be like a, you know, electric atmosphere inside. All right, and come and join us at an IPL cricket match. So we just lined up at one of 12 gates around the stadium right now. You can feel the atmosphere building, it's kind of got a real electricness to, to it, so. I'm feeling excited. Yeah. Through security, it's like a festival. And here we welcome the fielding team, Rajasthan Royals, name of the captain, Sanjur Misanso. This is done on phone, by the way, because okay. uh, out there batting is Virat Kohli, who's one of the most popular Indian players, and this is why it's been harder to get tickets because people have come to see him. Part of the ticket price is we get this space. And along there is all the food that's going to be served up in about half an hour. It's a real carnival atmosphere. It's very, very cool. A lot of fun.
absolute rock star here. <laughs> uh, one brave young man ran onto the field to get a hug from Coley. And he's getting taken off by security. For a man who has never been to a cricket match before and has only experienced with crickets being hit in the face by a ball when he's about seven years old. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That was <laughs> such a great night. And our and team won. Our team won. And the way it finished was just a beautiful finale because Absolutely. Butler got his hundred. Yeah, Butler got his hundred. With a six. With a six. And Two got balls this, left. Yeah. One, one run required and he hit a six. <laughs> he scored magic. his century. <laughs> Magical, we thoroughly enjoyed it. We did. <laughs> we did. That was a special night. But boy, what an energy, what an atmosphere, what a crowd. Yeah, so, absolutely. In the IPL. Your first match in that too in Jaipur and Rajasthan. <laughs> <laughs> what a city to be celebrating it in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah you had a good yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Hello friends, so what a night last night was, wow, Manu shouting me to that IPLT, LP, a, uh, IPL <laughs> cricket match, I'm still a bit tired from it actually, <laughs> uh, but today we are back heading into Jaipur. Yes we are, well we are in the central part of Jaipur actually, but um, we're heading out again to have a look at some four wheels. Four wheels. Yeah. Jaipur's got more choice in vehicles than Udapur has, so we're just going to do a little bit of vehicle shopping. Mm -hmm. Gadi? Gadi? Did yeah, I get that right? Gadi. Gadi. And, um, and just also looking for some more stuff for our house, so come along with us. So <coughs> we found. We could always just get something like that. What was that, darling? We just could get something like that at Silver Suzuki. <laughs> All right, friends who are watching, we're walking to a car yard. Which of these four cars do you think might be catching our attention? It's hmm? just a joke. <laughs> the little Suzuki, what looks like a Chrysler, an orange Tata, or the black Mahindra Jeep. <laughs> hmm. A tar. Does it have aircon? Very important question. One of the first things we need to ask, does this have aircon? Uh, yes, there's a button that says AC. Oh, really? Yeah. Good pickup. Yeah. Yeah. Gearbox is fine. There's a fault on this. It's flashing again. It's flashing again. It's flashing in AC. Oh no. AC's, AC's working now, yeah. Trying to work. How does it feel? Nice. It feels really good actually. It's oh, um, nice on the road. It feels really good on the road. I mean, it's familiar to me because it's you know, four wheel drive with chunky tyres. It's actually quite quiet in here. It's, it's very, not yeah. Too noisy. It is. But window open. It's um the suspension's it's pretty good. It's soft but it's like comfort suspension. This is nice darling. This is this it's feels quite a comfortable very truck. easy. Yeah. It has had a whole respray underneath on the frame, the chassis frame, so I want to find out what that's about. Yeah. How far down did we come? It looks good, John. Yeah. yeah, it looks the part. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the good thing about this is that it's really shown us that our draw towards one of these is correct, and I personally would really want one. <laughs> you? I'd be happy. It was very comfortable, actually, yeah. and not noisy. Yeah. Like, they're not loud. In fact, I think one of your trucks was louder. Yes, it was. Um, but it's not, but it's, not one. One. it's not this one. It's not this one. It's not this one. Uh, it's just, yeah. For what they're asking, it's. Um, yeah, there's just too many little question marks really about it. Quite a bit some more cheaper than what they've got on it. But, as I said, when you're being open to change in your life and rebuilding things and, you know, having a vehicle and these things, although not an essential, is certainly going to make a difference to our life. Well, you know, monsoon. Yeah, Might true. Might, yeah, rather than the scooter. <laughs> A um, scooter and a plastic poncho. <laughs> it's nice to have confirmation that we're heading in the right direction. While in the car, uh, moving from one, looking at one vehicle to another, we had a conversation. 
<laughs> the conversation went somewhat like, what darling? I don't know, tell me. Uh, it went, from my dear wife's words, darling, I just want to check, are we buying you a car or are we buying us a car? And my response was, well naturally it's, it's our car. And she's like, okay, I'm just checking because it really was feeling like you were getting into your car. And I really want to make sure this is going to be our car. And Manu's, Manu was sitting in the car with us and I said, how are you feeling, Manu? And he goes, I'm really learning and listening to this very loving but intense conversation. <laughs> Just sometimes I have to assert that he doesn't take ownership and that it is our car. I love to drive. Just sold my Range Rover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Relationship goals, right? Well, Just been... So beautifully welcomed into Gulab, our friend Gulab's home. This is Gulab and his beautiful wife. Namaste. Sanju. And we have been greeted with the traditional blessing of being blessed and at Garland. And uh, Gulab is part of a very, very important part of a wonderful brother over here, one of IPT, ITP team. And, uh, <laughs> so, there it is. <laughs> Jasmine meeting another sister. Yes. How special it is. So special. Special. <laughs> <laughs> Such a happy moment. <laughs> That's Manu way ahead of us with all our rugs. Being our porter. It's a heavy load he's got as well. <laughs> Running for a train. What's your most unhappy thing to do when traveling? Be late. <laughs> <laughs> How many seconds before the doors close when we got on, brother? 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Oh, bloody hell. And all because we were told platform four, yeah, not platform six. Yeah. Can happen. It does happen. We got here. We will reach. We but. got here. Okay, so it's C7. Pulling up at a station here, just reminded that that is still more the norm for traveling in trains in India. But there are 40 to 50 of these new trains that we're sitting in. Of course, they are a bit more expensive, but it's still very affordable. And this carriage is very empty. So, darling, yeah. we have had a really lovely weekend. We have. It's been lovely. <coughs> lovely train rides. Yeah. Visiting. Jaipur again because it's one of our favourite places and having time with Manu which he's been incredible again he's such an amazing friend and business partner. We are inc incredibly lucky to very, have very a soul in our life. Some old history there that pulled us yeah, back together fun. and um, yeah we celebrate it all the time. And um, yeah, sort of maybe almost halfway back to Udaipur the the sun's starting to go down in the sky. Yeah. You know, just quite relaxed and reflecting on um, different things that we found for our new home. And it's going to be nice to see how it feels, how it sounds with uh, floor coverings. On the, Funny thing on to the say, how your home is going to sound. <laughs> <laughs> on the marble flooring. I love the marble flooring, but yeah. I think um, because the house is still quite empty and echoes. So that'll be nice just to have something there yeah. and we want to say also thank you to all your loving comments and support and care thank you yes yes we get the message some of you are not happy about the fact that we've filmed without helmets on the motorbikes i want to reassure you we're very safe i've been riding bikes since i was 10 years old we are careful well. and you know i do um a lot of days recently actually say to john Start well, I've reflected on it. I've reflected on <laughs> Not it. Not because of anything being said no, on, no. on here. It was actually just something I was reflecting on and yeah. thinking about. Well, it's, it's there's a certain level of freedom that you get, and when you've yeah. been raised in a very restrictive, rule-based country like New Zealand, and you come to somewhere like India, where it's it's something beautiful about seeing men and women riding around, just doing their business without getting caught up in those rules. And I know it's changed. I know the laws come through. And I know they're trying to enforce the law, but Nudapur, they've kind of given up. Jaipur, they really did. Yeah. They really kicked it in. I we was noticed. noticing yeah. so many more. In fact, 90 something percent yeah. 
wearing helmets. And we know they save lives and all the rest of it, so enough with the comments online about it. <laughs> we get the point. We don't want to upset people or make no. people feel nervous or worried or scared to watch. No. And the other one that I want to address today is how old are we? Right? <laughs> because to be honest, Yasmin and I still feel very young. Yes, um, we do. And I think for a little bit ageism in the world, youth has been celebrated uh, for you know a long, long time. As you get older, hopefully you learn and you become a little bit wiser. Hopefully. But you do also feel the same inside. Do we tell them how old we are? Well, I suppose we could. I'll give you some sort of idea. I'm actually nine years older than Jonathan. All right. I'm nine years older. I recommend um, it to anyone, <laughs> men in the world who are looking for a great love in their life. Yeah. So there is a nine year age gap between us. Um, we met when we I was 23 and you were 30. Do the math, 32, 32, 32, yeah. and, um, and we got together when I was 25 and Yasmin was 30 something. We've been together 34. now 29 years, we've been married 26 years. I'm 54. And I'm 63. And we feel such a spirit of love and life and fulfillment that it's easy not even to consider. Those we, sorts. Yeah, we don't think about our age no. at all. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'm a little bit sore. <laughs> yeah. A little bit tired sometimes after being on the back of a bike or if we've ridden for 2,000 something kilometers, something kilometers um, on the back of the infield. But uh, may this be an inspiration yeah. for those of you who are fearful of growing old. The best years are always yet to come.